Back to school safety measures are in place at Erie High and the first group of students are in the classroom once again. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Mobilia. Today was the first day back to school for seniors at Erie High School since a shooting inside the school on April 5th. We spoke to district leaders at tonight's meeting about how the security protocols went today and what the rest of the week looks like for the students. Julia Hazel has our story tonight. It's new at 10 o'clock. Seniors returned to Erie High School Wednesday walking into new security protocols that the district says was a successful day. We as a board are very pleased that uh, they efficiently uh, introduced the new equipment and the new procedures and the doors are fixed and uh, it's all rolling along. It only took the seniors six minutes to enter the building with the new metal detectors. Based on how Wednesday went with all security protocols considered, there will be no extra security measures needed in the building as of right now. Now. It's going to be an ongoing process. We've been working really closely with the, the Erie High Safety Committee and the safety committees at our other schools. Uh, we're going to continue to evaluate and make adjustments as we go. Superintendent Brian Polito says not all of the seniors returned to the classroom and says he has a plan to reach out to the students and families to see how they can return. We want to make sure everybody's comfortable coming back to school, so we do plan to work with the Blue Coats to outreach to all the, all the families that, that didn't send their students uh, today and through throughout the, this week. To help the students feel more comfortable returning to the school, there are therapy dogs, a wellness room, and the mental health services that are available in the building for both staff and students. So I think it made a lot of us feel more hopeful, and we're hoping that the students had a good day today. Julia Hazel, Fox 66 News. And juniors return to the classroom tomorrow, and the district expects all students will return by Monday of next week. 